Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions and in today's Two Minute Tuesday I'm going to be showing you guys how to insert and then scale an image in order to say trace it or copy it into AutoCAD. This can be helpful for recreating or digitizing old architectural plans or perhaps details or if you're planning to uh, do some concept design or models uh, this will help you bring in say a base or tracing image uh, that you can work off that's going to be to scale. All right, so let's jump right in. As always, we're gonna keep this as quick as possible, so we're gonna jump right into this one. Uh, first, you're gonna need a drawing. You can see I've got a blank one open here. Uh, next, you're going to want to bring in or insert the image that you would like to scale uh, to trace off of or use as a go by. In order to do that, you can go over to the insert tab here and use the reference manager by hitting this fly out here. This is going to bring up a window here where you can right click and attach an image or a PDF depending on the type of file you're bringing in. This is going to work for either or. You can also simply just hit attach here and it's going to bring in a window that allows you to choose a file to attach. In our case, we're going to attach an image file. So we're going to use this drop down here and choose all image files. This will also work, as I mentioned, with PDF files as well as a variety of others. But for the most part, you're going to be bringing in an image uh, or perhaps PDF. So I'm going to just paste a path here where I've got a couple examples saved. We're going to do this manhole detail here first. And to get started, you're going to want to select it and hit open. It's going to ask you where on your screen you'd like to place it. So you can leave that checked on. Uh, if you knew, say, in a coordinate you would like it placed, you could uncheck it and type that in. Scale, we're going to uncheck. We're just going to bring this in at one, uh, one to one right now. And same for rotation, we're going to leave that at zero. Hitting OK is going to let us place this. You can place this anywhere in your drawing where you're planning to work. Clicking in the model space there has placed our image. Now, this is simply an image of an old detail from, say, this one, for example, is from the city of Vancouver. Uh, and it's a detail of just a standard cleanout. Now, to scale this, you need something on the drawing that you know the distance or exact dimension of. This is going to let you scale by comparing that distance to the actual scale in your drawing, which we're going to use uh, in a second here, and I'll show you how to reference that. So you can see this particular detail is a tough one, typically, uh, because it doesn't have many options for measurements. You can see here the uh, diameter is 150 millimeters, so you could use the width of the pipe. But in general, you're going to want to scale based on the longest or largest dimension you have to help uh, with accuracy. Scaling based off of something tiny leaves a little bit more room for error since you're making adjustments on such a small part that if you're off a little bit on the grander size or scale of your detail, the distances could be off more. Uh, so in our case, we're going to use this 300 millimeter up here that we know, and you can use these lines. If you zoom in, you can see my white cursor. I'll change that right now. Right click and hit options. And then under display colors, you can simply change your cursor here. So we'll just change that to cyan for right now so that we can better see it in the drawing. So you can see from this dimension line to this dimension line here is going to be 300 millimeters. You can do a distance command right now and check what it is. It's not going to come into scale since this is simply an image. Uh, you can see it's about 0.44 right now. So let's say our drawing is in millimeters for this case. So we're going to scale this up and make sure that that line is exactly 300 millimeters long. You can do this for whatever units you're using. You want to set your drawing units or uh, file units to the proper units that you're using. You can do that by typing units or in the settings menu. Now to scale it, we're going to type in scale and you're going to want to choose a base point. I like to use the same point here. Uh, you can also use the bottom left corner of the drawing or bottom right corner, but I'm going to show you what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to choose this dimension line and for this kind of a drawing where it's going to be only 
pretty accurate, you want to simply zoom in as much as you can and select the dead center of the dimension line and the center of the uh, vertical line as well there. So I'm going to select right there for my base point. I'm not going to move the mouse. I'm going to type R for reference, and this is going to reference this distance and make it scale to whatever we uh, give it for a value. You'll see here, after hitting R and hitting enter, it's going to ask for a reference length. So how do we do this is we're going to click the same spot again, and then we're going to go straight up. You can use F8 to lock it to a vertical. Uh, if you're using a horizontal dimension, it'll lock to horizontal as well by using F8 or ortho. We're going to go up to the center of this line here and click. So we want that distance. So the next thing it's going to ask is the new length for that reference line. So we chose a dimension that we know is 300 millimeters long. So we're going to type in 300 now for the new length of that line. So it's going to scale our entire image so that that line is now 300 millimeters long. So if we type in distance, go down to here, you can see as it hovers over the, or as it hovers there, that our ortho distance is 300 millimeters. So that's how you would scale an image that you're bringing into AutoCAD to trace. Now you're able to trace this out and everything's going to be scaled per this drawing. Now, one thing to note and keep an eye of is double checking multiple uh, widths and distances in the drawing if there are more than one. And I'm gonna show you that here in our next example. So we're gonna bring in another image and we're gonna hit attach. So before we get into this second one, where I'm gonna show you guys how to bring in and overlay, say a car that you could trace or draw, uh, if you guys like this tip and you want to learn a bunch more, don't forget to check out my AutoCAD productivity webinar or my AutoCAD fundamentals and workflow course. Both are available now on my website. I'm going to put the links to the two down below where you can get them for a discount right now for all of you, my subscribers. All right, back to the video. So for this example, we're going to choose the Fiat car example here. And you can see the example on the right. We're going to open it, same settings as before. It's going to let us place our image somewhere and we can zoom in now to see it. So sometimes these are going to be a little bit blurry depending on the quality of your image. You're going to have to do your best to uh, decipher and read them. But for our example, we're just going to guess here. Uh, this looks like it says 2450 and we're going to say that's in millimeters. So it'd be 2.45 meters. Uh, which is probably about right for a medium sized car. So again, we're going to select the image that we want to scale. We're going to type in scale and then we're going to choose our base point. In this case, we want to choose the end of this dimension here, right in the center as best as we can. And without moving, we're going to hit R and then enter for reference. And we're going to click again and we're going to go to the right here to the end of this dimension line. Now it's going to ask us how long that dimension line should be, and we're going to tell it to make it 2450 millimeters long or 2.45 meters. Now if we zoom back out here, we can see our car drawing and it is now to scale. So you now have the ability to use the distance command and roughly check to make sure that this is uh, what it says it is. And it says it's about 601. Well, we're about that. It's slightly under, so we may need to adjust. So you can do that again by doing the scale, base point, reference, same spot, and choosing the end. I think this one says about 3865, so we're going to do the longer dimension here. And now we're going to dimension, or dist, D-I-S-T and see if we're about 3865. So you can see on the right there, the end of that arrow is right on 3865. So now you've got a scaled car drawing or model here that you could simply trace over in AutoCAD by using the standard line and uh, polyline commands or hatching as you see fit. So I hope you guys learned something in this video. This is an easy 
and quick way to scale your drawings and PDFs and images accurately within AutoCAD, whether you're using them for tracing, uh, simple go-bys, or to just help uh, fill out or show on a drawing a little bit more detail of something, this is gonna help you in the long run and save you a ton of time. As always, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video down below. That way you'll get updates every time a new video comes out, which are Tuesdays. Uh, and then occasionally I'll throw in an extra one each week. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here to make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers.